Kat, what has come from Evansville Watch over the past week or so? All right. Uh, so we're going to start, Rob. Um, officer requesting for another unit in the 1100 block of North Main. Police found a two-year-old walking, unable to make contact with the parents. That's a shame. Isn't it? <laughs> because that two-year-old can't tell you where they live and who their parents are, and some parents just let them wander off. You know, uh, Brittany and I observed something interesting at the movie theater this weekend. We saw don't uh, don't breathe. Oh you, yeah. You know that uh, are scary. I'm assuming it's R-rated horror movie. Sure. One family with not one but two babies. Two babies. Two at that, babies in a scary movie. In a, when you say babies, how old are we talking about? Oh, under one and a half. Oh well, they're not going to remember it. I mean, it's not like it's going to give them bad dreams. I think it's inappropriate, personally. Okay. That's just bad. It's a bad judgment call, I think. But that's right. just, maybe I'm wrong. What do I know? <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. At Andrew Auto Sales, 3100 Covert Avenue, several juvenile males are jumping up and down on vehicles. Really? Why are they doing that? I don't know. Apparently, they didn't get the memo that cars are not trampolines. No, they didn't get that memo. Traffic stop at Weinbach and Conlon. The 16-year-old male driver is, quote, high as a kite. Per oh. an officer. 16 years old. 16 years old. High as a kite. That's that's the quote from the officer. Interesting. Well, he's going to have a, a wake-up call here in a second, I think, Kat. Check welfare call at Gilbert Avenue and Graham Avenue. Subject passed out in the middle of the street. We get one every week, I at least. Because it wouldn't be Evansville Watch without it. Uh, check welfare, 4,000 block of Buena Vista. Male trying to flag down folks by holding jumper cables in the air. Officer en route to check on him. I bet you he needs a jump. Well, you would think so, but I was reading down through the comments on that post, and there was a comment from Evansville Watch that he was not with a stalled vehicle. He was really? just Yeah. Oh, that makes it that makes Bizarre. it Bizarre. Here, that goes from a weird story to an Evansville story. Uh -huh. If you want the difference, a stalled car is the difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, let's see. Hashtag eWatch, hashtag TBT, hashtag Throwback Thursday, September 30th, 2011, Rob. Okay. We were, what, two weeks into doing our, our show? Mm -hmm. uh, dispatched EPD on check welfare call for man standing on Crattsville Road, casting a fishing line into roadway as cars pass. Really? Yeah. That reminds me of a Beavis and Butthead episode, Couch of Fishing. it does. Where they put, they put <laughs> pizza on, uh, on like a fishing pole and, and throw it out the window and try to catch people. Yeah. Wow. That's neat. Um, let's see. Last but not least, a male got off a bus and stored all his luggage beside a building on Vine. EPD investigated and found out it belongs to Walter. There's a winky smiley face here. It says, a longtime native of Evansville. One officer said to another, you remember him? He used to walk around town naked all the time. The other officer replied, no, I need to see a pic. <laughs> now they are trying to locate him to come get his luggage, hopefully still clothed. <laughs> Apparently, whoever Walter is, Walter liked to walk around Evansville naked. And so many people are doing this that that officer forgot about Walter. Yeah. What? Well, if you're trying to see a pic of Walter, I got good news and bad news. The good news is I do have a pic of Walter. The bad news is he's in his normal birthday suit. So here you go. Oh, Walter. I remember Walter. Yeah, him. Walter. <laughs> so yeah. and what did he even do? He he put his he luggage down? He got off down? of a bus. So I'm assuming like a Greyhound bus. Yeah. And took all his luggage and kind of tucked it beside a building on Vine Street. Huh. Well, welcome back, Walter. Wherever you were, welcome back to Evansville. <laughs> Maybe I'll see your penis soon. Oh, God, Rob.